Hello, uh, today I'm just going to show you a few more pots I've got in stock at the moment. Um, thank you to people who bought some mugs and cups from the last video. Um, quite a lot of those have gone now and I've sent them out this week. I've still got a few of the espresso in um, smaller coffee cups, 8 ounce ones. <coughs> I forgot to do the photos for those so I'll do those in a minute and I've got some more stuff to show now um, I've just been updating my website as well a bit so I've got a new like colour swatch thing so I'm selling things in five colours now most stuff apart from like big dinner plates and things because I don't have enough glaze made up to do those but yeah if you see anything uh, you like I can do most things in five glazes now, so it's white, blue, apricot, green and black. Um, and I've also changed my prices a little bit, so when I did the craft fair I thought I'd round everything up or down to the nearest fiver. Um, and I actually quite like that pricing, so some of my, well, my cereal bowls have gone down in price. They were 18.50. They're now 15. Spoon rests have gone down to 10 pounds. <coughs> they were 15, I think. Um, and most of my medium mugs, like standard size mugs, were around like 18, 50, 19 pounds, and they're all 20 now. Um, so yeah, everything's sort of just around about um, uh, five pound intervals. Anyway, uh, what shall I show you first? So, oh, there you go. So for these, all my lettered, all my lettered stuff, um, I individually stamp the lettering. So I first make a little clay strip, stick that on and do all the letters and do a little star at the end and then after, after it's been fired <coughs> I brush some black iron oxide in the letters and then I sponge it off to remove the excess and uh, wax wax this whole bit so it doesn't get glazed and they also wax the edge of these but not this bit and then this one's a green so I've got most colours black, white I think I don't have white in stock actually, these need to be sent out to somebody. Don't know. Anyway. So, as well as those, I've got salt pigs. So, there again, done the lettering in the same way. And these come with a little spoon, salt spoon. Got those in a few different colours. Um, I've got some side plates. <clears throat> um, got most colours in these, I think. And then cereal bowls. So I make these quite big even though I've got, I do have quite big hands so they might not look massive but you can get at least three wheat bix probably five, I don't know. You can get a lot of wheat bix in them, that's for sure. So that's the apricot. And also, I've just 
made my first serving bowl, so that's it's the same dimensions, um, but just bigger basically. So these would be good for like salad, maybe serving vegetables, um, like a little fruit bowl maybe. So I've just got a white one in these at the moment, but you could order that in different colours. Just got a couple of my um, storage jars left, white and apricot. dog bowls I made um, just without a name on so plain ones these are 15 centimeter ones 25 pounds so it's done in the same way as my personalized ones but yeah just plain and then just got some jugs a couple of just got one of these uh, litre jugs in blue. Um, <clears throat> similar shape to my tankards. And nice big handle. That's a litre. And I've got just one of the pint jugs left in blue okay I think that's pretty much it for the moment yeah like I say I've still got a few of the other um, cups and tumblers left I've got one tankard left in black at the moment um, but yeah, I've been making a lot this week, I've been very busy, so if you've got something on order from me, it could be on the way. I've been making a lot of dinner plates, um, utensil holders, big tea mugs, tankards, um, and some other things. So I've been really busy, I've been in, I was in here for like 14 hours yesterday, making stuff, so... <clears throat> I am working hard to get your orders to you, so don't worry, it's coming soon. Alright, thanks a lot, um, see you soon, bye. Hello, I just thought I'd quickly add on a couple of things that I forgot last time. First one is these uh, candlestick holders. Um, I made these wrong a couple of times, first lot were too small. And the second lot were all too big and these ones are just right so they fit a candle in nicely you just have to give it a bit of a twist and then it's nice and solid <coughs> um, so these are thrown like a little dish and then I push in part way out pull that bit out and then make a hole in the middle middle bits unglazed so that means the candle grips the candle nicely basically and then I put this little handle on and swipe out the edges there to secure it so that's one of them I've got those in all colours I think and this is my soap dish so these are made from like a sort of dish shape again and then I press down from the center as the wheels turn in slowly and it makes this groove in it so when you put your soap down the water goes into the groove and evaporates away and you have a nice dry bar of soap and then the edges are kind of folded up on two sides so it fits on most sinks nicely so that's the soap dish and again
again I've got that in quite a few different colours. Alright, thanks for that. Have a look on my website if you'd like to buy any of my lovely pottery. See you soon. Bye.